rubbed it down with a bit of sandpaper first. That just needs to go tacky. And then on top of it will sit this, which is the fuel filter. It's got arrows on it, which tell you which way the fuel goes, and it will sit with the big end out here. So I'll be able to pop that on in a second. We'll let that go off a bit, and then come round your side, because I've got two fuel pumps to put on, which are on my card, E25, card 3F, and they go that way up. They go with their negative terminal, so you avoid any chance of sparking and they're held on by big clips down here. Two pumps are sorted. I'm now putting in the fuel shut-off valve into another clip here. There we go, in like that. It's got this lever on the top here which controls the shut-off valve and that's wire controlled through into the cockpit. So that goes in there like that and then it's a matter of just bolting through with a couple of spacers. Next piece is the fuel pressure regulator, which is this bit of kit here. The fuel will come in from this end. In the top of here will be a sensor, and it means that once the pressure's built up to 60 psi, any excess fuel can come out through the back here and bypass, so it goes back into the tank so it's permanently circulating. And it just drops, very conveniently, into this bracket here. Yeah. Once I've got this on, Next job is just whack the main filter in and then we can do some pipe work. This is the smallest little ratchet I've ever seen. Rather than putting in a knob to change the direction, all you do is just push the end through like that. Great Christmas present for the wife. If you think it looks complicated, it is, and I will try and take you through it. You start over here, with this pipe brings in the fuel from the tank on that side and this pipe over here which runs underneath brings the fuel into this T-piece. It then goes through the shut-off valve here and the first primary filter in there, through the fuel pumps, back out here and here, through to another T-piece that's on the input side of the fuel filter, goes out of the fuel filter, up this pipe, into the fuel rail down this side into the pressure regulator, which is down that pipe and into the bottom of here. In the top of there will be the sensor, and then if there's any overload to get rid of any fuel, it goes up this pipe and is circulated back into the tanks. Have you got that? I thank you. They're made of polyethylene, which is about 10% heavier than aluminium, but much much stronger is they've already got on their heat protection stuck on here there are two holes in each tank one at the bottom there which is where the fuel will come out to go towards the pumps and we'll be putting a fitting in there in a second and the other is this end because obviously you need to get your fuel in and there's a pretty standard cap that goes in there now the fitting needs to go in this end is this little debris here, which is quite a clever fitting because obviously it's got the holes in here that the fuel goes through. They join up with the center of the bit there. So that's fine, the fuel can get through it, but sealing it into the tank is a bit of a problem because you obviously can't get inside to be able to put a nut on the inside of the tank. So it's got this sealer washer here, a rubber. Now we pass the whole lot of this into the inside of the tank, put the rubber so it lines up and it's lying right in the hole there. And as you do up the rubber, it expands to a bigger diameter and then seals the rubber into the cutout in the tank. So, this will slot in here. Fitting these tanks, because you have to make the straps to attach them to the airframe yourself, is an interesting exercise and it involves this cargo strap. So, Pete, yep. what, I need, what I want you to do now is drop that tank, heat shield towards the engine, yep. so that drops in there. Yep. Just support the bottom of it again. Yep. Got, it. got it? You got it? Yeah. Right. Oh, hold on to it, hold on, hold on, hold on. Move your other hand. And... Oh, that's good. They are done. <laughs>
run. Does it fit? Of course it fits. In there like that. Very simple. One nut and bolt at the bottom. I can take the strap off afterwards. And then at the top, I've already got these brackets on for the top fixing. Okay, that's on there for now, that's fine. A lovely snug fit, one strap down, three to go. Right, that's it, tank number two in place. The straps themselves will all be sprayed up and then some rubber put underneath them. There's a petrol gauge, fuel filler gauge in here to go in, but that has to be calibrated, we do that later on. So, some connections. And there's two of them left. One is this, which is the fuel return from the regulator like so and the last one down here is the outlet to the cutoff valve and then that's it pretty much connected up obviously there's a little bit more work to do on the fuel system and that includes basically taking all these pipes to the tanks off again so we can get to finish the straps but it's a good job lovely Ensuring the correct weight and balance and the appropriate position of the centre of gravity on a helicopter is important for safe flight. Same with all aeroplanes. So you need one of these, it's called a ballast weight. It goes in a position there when you've got two in the cockpit. Or if you're on your own, it slots down here on this skid. Problem is, it's not heavy enough though. It needs to be £25, including that bit and the bit that goes on the end. So, to make it a bit heavier, what you need to do is get all this lead here into this tube. To do that, you need one of these and a serious amount of heat. We've got the pan on the stove just to keep it all warm and the oxy to melt the lead into the pan, so this obviously comes in these big strips. It's standard roofing lead this, so if you have any problems getting hold of any, just find yourself a church. Can't say that, because the whole church will be down on you. That was a bit nerve-wracking, I have to say, a bit of molten lead about. <sighs> Quite exhausted. You can see how hot that tube's got just by the colour of it. Well, that's it for now. Join me next time when we'll be doing the avionics. It'll be the electrics and the electronics. I have got some serious kit for you, so don't miss it. Until then, be good. I love this show. I just, I just love it. I've never been so happy in my life. <laughs>